Hi friends, today I take a new topic about the grey and white matter of cerebral hemispheres. Here is my fifth part of brain and cranial nerves. The main objectives are first one, grey matter of cerebral hemispheres included cerebral cortex, basal nuclei, striopallidary system and the white matter of cerebral hemisphere constitute association pathways, commissural pathways, projection pathways. The gray matter of cerebral hemispheres contains the cerebral cortex. It is newly formed and 33% of entire hemisphere. The basal nuclei is 7% of entire hemisphere. That is, the gray matter constitute 40% of entire hemisphere. The cerebral cortex is the outermost layer of the brain containing the green matter, responsible for many higher order functions like language and information processing. Here will be the coronal section of uh, cerebral cortex. First, we need to study the general information of cerebral cortex. The cerebral cortex appears as 2 to, uh, two to uh, 4 millimeter thick layer of gray matter that covers the cere uh, that covers the hemispheres from outside. The area of cor uh, cortex is approximately 1400 to 1000 square centimeter. Only one third of that is approximately 70 percentage of entire cortex area is evident on the surface of hemisphere while the rest is hidden to the circle. The volume of cortex is about 500 cubic centimeters and the number of neurons accounted varies from 10 to 70 millions. The cortex features multi-layer structure with six well distinguishable layers. The first one is molecular layer, second is external granular layer, third is external pyramidal layer, fourth one is internal granular layer, fifth one is internal pyramidal layer, and sixth one is multiform layer. We make a call here, mole is great piano music, M for mole, molecular layer, G for granular layer, both external and internal, P for Pyramidal layer, both external and internal, MU for multiform layer, and we need to study uh, two cells, skeletal cells and pyramidal cells are present. Then basal nuclei, it appears as considerable aggregation of gray matter situated within the hemispheres next to inferior or basal surface. Here we can see the basal nuclei. Here be the basal nuclei and here is the thalamus and here be the amygdala. The basal nuclei appears as considerable aggregation of gray matter situated within the hemispheres next to inferior surface. They are represented with the corpus striatum, the claustrum and the amygdaloid body. Here be the amygdala and uh, here is the coronal section of hemisphere we can see claustrum here here be the claustrum okay we have to just learn about corpus striatum corpus striatum uh, comprised of two big nuclei the caudate nucleus and dendiform nucleus the lendiform nucleus comprises of tutamen and globus pallidus and tutamen is the larger darker outermost portion and the globus pallidus is the inner lighter paired segment just look into the caudate nucleus first resides anteriorly and laterally from the thalamus resides anteriorly and laterally from the thalamus this blue one is thalamus and it has head, the body and the tail is the narrow one. Head is located in the anterior and it is a thickened portion. 
and body is in middle portion and tail is the posterior narrow portion here we can see posterior narrow portion Coded nucleus arches so that the head appears as the lowermost part that reaches the anterior perforated area. Most part of it occupies the lateral wall of lateral ventricle. The body neighbors the thalamus. Here, body neighbors the thalamus and thus forms the floor of central part of lateral ventricle. The tail uh, runs along the superior wall of inferior horn of lateral ventricle to reach amygdaloid body. Here we can see the amygdaloid body. Then just uh, next to look into lendiform nucleus. Uh, here, here is the just the information about coded nucleus. Then lendiform nucleus uh, resides laterally from thalamus and caudate nucleus being delimited by internal capsule here we can see the lendiform nucleus here be the thalamus here be the caudate nuclei here we can see the internal capsule here be the lendiform nucleus this black and brown it's a triangular like shaped one and it consists of the outer one putamen and inner is globus pallidus and delimited by internal capsule here we can see the thalamus the apex is towards the thalamus and the base is towards the insula here be the insula just look into this picture this is globus pallidus and here is the putamen it is a uh, it is outermost thick, outermost thickened portion, putamen. Globus is a thin and lighter. Here with the, this orange one is thalamus. And here we can see the insula. Section the nucleus appears as triangular area with the base directed to the insula and the apex direct to the thalamus. Nucleus comprises of two parts, putamen, which is larger, darker outermost portion, the globus pallidus, the inner, lighter, paid segments. Then we have to study the amygdaloid body, resides within the temporal lobe. Here we can see the temporal lobe, anterior to inferior horn of lateral ventricle, and it is one of the principal centers of limbic system, which communicates with the hypothalamus and olfactory centers then we can study about the claustrum claustrum is a thin layer of gray matter resides laterally from the lendiform nucleus here we can see here be the claustrum and the boundary between them appears as a thin layer of white matter called external capsule here we can see the external capsule. This is lendiform nucleus, comprises vitamin and yes, globus pallidus. And extreme capsule, another white matter layer, extreme capsule, separates the claustrum from insula. Here we can see the insula. And this is the claustrum capsule. We have to learn about striopallidary system. The caudate nucleus and putamen are associated by means of gray and white matter stria, uh, which give that that uh, striated look to the section the nuclei. They are neostratium, or commonly known as striatum, or paleostratium, or known as pallidumis, globus pallidus, globus pallidus. It is the older structure. Uh, clinical specialists referred. Uh, striopallidary system, uh, the nuclei of corpus striatum as the superior centers of extra pyramidal system. This nuclei, the nuclei of corpus striatum as the superior centers of extra pyramidal system. These nuclei as the principal motor centers in inferior animals. It is uh, helps for complex automated movements in superior animals. 
the nuclei are uh, helps to in superior animals the cortex is well developed but uh, the uh, help of nucleus is uh, not as um, delimited it helps to muscle tonus maintenance uh, it helps to coordination of automated movements and it also helps to creation of emotion and responsibility for individual feature of movements the association centers of cortex of frontal lobe are closely connected to the corpus striatum and the claustrum uh, the striatum from the striatum from the striatum the pathway proceed to the pallidum from the pallidum to the thalamus and further to the motor areas of cerebral cortex the nuclei employ the pathways for participate uh, participation in programming of complex uh, automated movement and we have to learn about some disorders like parkinsonism uh, labor movements tremor in arms involuntary forced movements tonus disorders are the injury to the nuclei result in various motor disorders then next we jump into the white matter of cerebral cortex the white matter appears as quite a thick layer between the cerebral cortex and the basal nuclei it consists of nerve fibers arranged into three system association commissural and projection pathways the white matter the association fibers connect the different areas within the same hemisphere commissural fibers associate identical area in different hemispheres most of the commissural fibers belong to the corpus callosum yet uh, some other run within the anterior commissure and the commissure of fornix or posterior commissure projection fibers associate the cerebral cortex with the underlying nuclei both of the brain stem and the spinal cord the fibers arise or terminate in certain areas of cerebral cortex as if they project on to it this is uh, association fibers and here we can see the commissural fibers here be the projection fibers the association fibers comprise of short association fibers and long association fibers in so, uh, short association fibers are uh, represented with a single type of uh, fiber called uh, arcuate fibers associate the, or connect the neighboring gyri neighboring gyri connect the neighboring gyri and in long association fibers the lobe inside fibers distinguishable are superior longitudinal fasciculus inferior longitudinal fasciculus cingulum and uncinated fasciculus here we can see superior longitudinal fasciculus it runs above the corpus callosum this green is, green portion is corpus callosum to associate the frontal lobe here we can see the frontal lobe parietal lobe occipital lobe and here we can see the temporal lobe here we so here be the temporal okay and the superior longitudinal fasciculus associate frontal lobe with the parietal and the occipital lobes inferior longitudinal fasciculus associate the temporal and the occipital lobes and the cingulum here we can see a bundle of fibers confined to the cingulate gyrus it associates the frontal parietal and temporal lobes then we can see the uncinate fasciculus it arises in the temporal and parietal lobes and terminates within the inferior frontal gyrus on its way to destination the fasciculus rounds the lateral sulcus we can see a lateral sulcus here and the next one is commissural fibers here we can see commissural fibers associate identical areas in different hemispheres as already we said most of the commissural fibers belong to the corpus callosum yet some other run within the anterior commissure and the post, uh, commissure of fornix 
the projection fibers we can see here associate the cerebral cortex with the underlying nuclei both of the brain stem we can see the brain stem here and descending is the spinal cord the fibers arise or terminate in certain areas of cerebral cortex as they if they project onto it the projection fibers compact compacted within the internal capsule part as it they leave it and radiate to form corona radiator that eventually reaches the cerebral cortex we can see here here be the this area is the area of internal capsule uh, here be the uh, lendiform nucleus this is putamen and this is globus pallidus here be the insula lobe okay okay friends i think this video is helpful to you and uh, if you have any suggestion make a comment it and please uh, if you like this video like this video uh, like uh, click on the like button and um, if you want updated video video you have to click on the bell icon and subscribe my channel thank you friends bye